Will be for first ball. It didn't take long. And one thing you can be absolutely certain of that is not where better. Oh, that's the ball. That's the ball. Up goes the finger. Swung back into the right hander. And after two boundaries, they have a wicket. Rohit Sharma just looking down the wicket at Shikhar Dhawan. Does he want to use the one review they have available? I think Shikhar Dhawan's telling him, no, mate, you're not looking. Taylor for Berendorf. And Bradley Hogg is doing cartwheels next to me. Rohit Sharma out for eight, eight for one. Right, that's up in the air. It's taken. Has it gone off the pad? Is there an inside edge? Up goes the finger. What an over. Um, the skipper of the Indian team. Virat Kohli out LBW for a duck. It's eight for two. Well, it's well short of third man. Right. Berendorf gets the ball to curve back into the right-handers. And it is after pitch. In the gap, it's well played. Come back for two. He's got a style of his own, but it's a style that's worked for Pandey. I think this is uh, pretty typical of... Uh... Now, up goes the finger, one more goes. Manish Pandey is walking. GG. The damage for Australia. Pandey's got to go for six. India, 16 for three. And those three wickets... Sums Ash. Oh, that's a shot if you want to see one. This has been some cricket match so far. Shot arm. Look at the distance he got on it. Great timing. Excellent timing. Wasn't such a bad ball. The shot of a length. Right, he's timed that. It's up in the air though. It is an outstanding catch by David Warner. He has made a very difficult catch. Look, catches a hard catch by David Warner. Darwin's out for two. India 27 for four. Oh, that's a shot. Brilliant. Picked up the length very, very quickly. Well, he just stands still. There's no initial movement forward or back. Now the forward press or a back, back foot move. Just stands there. And. Uh, He's such a street smart player, there it is. Just a little room around the off stump. He knows that the fielders are in the circle, so he's gone over them. One bounce, boundary. The only time Berendorf has missed a good length, he has... I think even for Kedar, it's the right time to test his ego, to possibly ask him to come and have a go at you. Because we've seen him do that. And you want another wicket. That's the best thing you can do for your team and your captain. A couple of ways captains look at situation like this. They feel some some captains would think four wickets down. The team is really hampered now. Let's not get too greedy because this will have its effect towards the end of the inning. The wickets lost. Try goes up of Dhoni Dhoni. Worked away. Might get four for it. Just the wrong line there from Stoinis. And that's a 50 up for the Indian players. Guess a bit jet lag, Binger. Yeah, drifting offline. Just put back to ball. A delicate little leg glance from Kedar Jadav. He just got home, didn't he? Ones and twos. Yeah, more like, dot balls like this. Sorry, but more fielders inside dot ball pressure can work against Dhoni. Four. Great shot. One bounce over the boundary. I didn't expect him to run down again after doing that the previous delivery once again a full toss that inconsistency in length but beautifully put away very well put away because there was a man at deep mid wicket it was the question of getting it into the gap and that's exactly what uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni managed 
Almost looked like he tried to bowl a slider there, and MS Dhoni played like a table tennis shot, just flicked it over with a wrist. Oh. Use of the feet again. You feel the energy out there, can't you? Interesting tactic there again. He's practicing that shot, Dhoni, so he's looking to hit fours, which is slightly unusual, but good, good tactics from Dhoni. He sends that Zampa is not quite the confident bowler in this unit. You've seen him struggle a bit in the one day or so. He's trying to exploit the weak link here in this Australian bowling uh, group. Oh, that was well bowled actually from Zampa. Even though he got a wide for it, he threw a wide. He saw Donny come out of his crease, but the cagey Donny realised straight away it's too wide. But this is again good cricket from Donny. He's forced the bowler to bowl that one. Oh, done yeah. him! Absolutely done him! Well taken by Payne, and Adam Zampert's got one to grip and rip. And Dhoni's gone. Game of cat and mouse. Dhoni was trying to go after Zampa. Take on the slightly weak bowler, down on confidence. But this is a great delivery, and the pitch supports him. This is a pitch that has got something for the bowlers. You saw lateral movement for the seamers. Zampa getting the turn. Dhoni didn't expect that. Also excellent stepped out. Half the side gone inside 10 overs. <laughs> Good spot. Yeah! Oh, he's gone right through him. They're always going to go after him. And I'm afraid Kedar Jadhav's tried to go after him and finds himself walking back. Let him zamp up. They just absolutely bamboozled him. Jadhav has played a very uncharacteristic shot there. He's gone for the big swipe across the poles. And he's got his stump stripped down as the wrong one, the googly. Nice turn, middle and leg. Off and middle, I should say. And Adam Zampa, look at him, he's animated. And now he's starting to see some results come his way. Good innings by Jadav, 27. It's 67 for six. Very keen to see how Hardik Pandya handles the last eight overs. It's been up and up and up in his career so far, showing us different facets of his of his cricket. Here's another test for him. Yes, and he's shown a very pleasing uh, aspect of his game because uh, he's prepared to make the adjustments, prepared uh, to play the waiting game, not just going for the big shots where there is a little. Moisture underneath, and it is going to be an easy catch, and it's taken. Henry Case takes that. So, Bhuvneshwar Kumar wasn't able to do anything this time. No inning saving partnership with uh, anybody. It was with Dhoni in the first game in Chennai this time. He hasn't made much of a contribution. The Indian batting in disarray. Seventh wicket down for 70. Short ball trying to play the ramp shot, and uh, that's taken. So, Kultanile amongst the wickets again, out for one, 70 for seven. And certainly, when you're watching 2020 cricket, it's definitely the case. He'll charge back for two, he's not the quickest, but he makes it. I think it's we're looking at the replay here. Dev, there is a referral for run out. Can we have the best side on, please? Yeah, happy with that. I'm not sure what we're looking at there. <laughs> One day I want the TV umpire to come. He's still got the option to bowl the short ball and the big Yorker, which is why he's such an asset to the Australian cricket team, because he can offer a lot. But I think as he's bowling the death, yes, his stock ball will definitely be the slow one. Which is a good point, sir. And, and you played a lot of T20 cricket. Is there a stock ball in T20 cricket at all? Well, I always say that the stock ball is what you bowl the most amount of balls. So if you're bowling 15 of your balls out of your, your 24 and you're bowling slow balls, you'd call that your stock ball. Uh, the print, uh, the print, a little fuller than you'd have liked to. 
Was it difficult for you bowling that wide York and knowing that the best result is you can't get a, you, you can never get a wicket with that one? Yeah, but some, sometimes it's not all about taking wickets. You know, you're building up pressure, and if you can get away with one, if they need eight, nine, and over, even ten and over, and you and you can bowl six. Oh, it'll be for four. It doesn't matter where the four is. It's four nonetheless. So Kuldeep Yadav sneaks one into the left of Tim Payne. It's 85 for seven. Well, he bowled that full. The question is, how close was it to a waist-high full toss, that one? Just under the umpire, I reckon. Was it? No, I think it was a waist-high. Well, there you go. It's a seamer. And that ball's gone for a six. You don't see that very often with Hardik Pandya. That's a terrific shot. Well, I've spoken to saying I told I, I told you that he needed to work on his pull shot, and he's played two magnificent pull shots. Well, over before it went for one, but this one, it's a maximum. AJ Ty just too short for Pandya, and that's what they would have been talking about in their team meetings: is to attack Pandya short. It's gone full, and it will carry. Dan Christian on the field as a substitute has taken a good low catch. And Hardik Pandya is gone. Excellent bowling. That was right up there, but the pace was taken off. Just 107 kilometers per hour. Well, excellent bowling here from Marcus Stoinis. Pandya, he thought this was the time to go because Coulton Isle still got an over left in his spell. And AJ Ty is a good component of death. But in the air on the bounce the bowler comes in the way not deliberately Bumrah complaining but it was wasn't deliberate he makes his uh, ground in the end safely 19 was gone 114 for it another snowball oh directed seemed like it was well short in fact he continues running towards the dressing room so they have lost another wicket Fantastic piece of work from Tim Payne. Not easy whipping the glove off and then throwing with an, a glove that you have inside your wicket-keeping glove. Look on that aspect of the game. Boomer, interesting seven. India, 115 for nine. Oh, just over the field at point. They've got his fingertips to it. Kuldeep Yadav was the third. And Chahal has to make the crease. There's another. Oh, what's the stump is flashing for a while, but I don't think the bales have come off. I certainly saw the stump. Last ball of the innings. It's gone straight up. Could also be the last wicket of the innings. Payne takes it. He's had a good match with the gloves. And India have just managed 118 in their 20 overs. But the pitch has something for the bowlers. So don't write India off. Australia short of confidence with their bat. So who knows what's there in store. Warner sprinting back to open the innings. Been a wonderful bowling performance from the Australians. The score still looks insufficient. Well, Jason Berendorf definitely was the pick of the bowlers. Swung the ball early. Put it on a good length and really trouble. Berendorf went for eight off those first three balls, then came back with a couple of wickets. Coulton Isle was tight. Uh, Stoinis, extra chin strike. Oh, good movement. It'll be wide, but good movement. Would have been a great ball to pull to David Warner. Now, why is Warner the non strikers in? Is it that Bhubaneshwar has got him out a few times? I think that might be one reason, but the other reason too, the openers might change it up each game. Four, well wide of uh, just of uh, Kedar Jada fielding on the boundary there, right under us, 45 degree boundary position, and he never had a chance. It's too effective just to complete the last sentence. Length ball, you get the feeling the ball is just coming on a little better now. As we see a bit of dampness on the outfield, we saw Duke clearly earlier as well. 
Right top edge, fielder coming underneath it. He doesn't drop those, he won't win out Kohli. And so David Warner, his poor run in limited in T20 internationals continues. And India have got exactly what they needed a wicket at the top. And David Warner. Trying to play the pull shot early on in his innings. The ball hurrying up. Skidding on a little quicker than he expected. Rick Carley very pleased to see the back of David Warner because he knows that Australia will be on the top two. Australia 11 for one. It's still a slip in. Oh, in the air! It's straight to Coley! See if Australia want to do this, they're doing this the hard way. Talk of skidding, if anything, that probably stood up on him. Yeah, the extra bounce, you're right. The speed is still 136, so I don't think it was an obvious slow delivery, but just stood up, as you said, and they've got the high part of the bat, couldn't keep the ball down. Fish just trying to force that through the offside, just got a little big on him, couldn't control the shot. Because they've lost their two main weapons, 13 for two Australia. Oh, it's a lovely shot. There is no prettier shot in the game than one that goes straight back past the bowler. Well, the Australians have been working on trying to hit the scoreboard in the nets over the last couple of days. This is one aspect that Travis had has needed to work on in this series. He's been playing across the line too often. And that's why he hasn't got runs on the ball. But tonight, he's off to a good start, showing the full fight. Back from Bumla. Now, down the leg side, easy boundary. Gee, a very good ball, followed by an easy gimme boundary. 24 for two after four. Yeah, looks a good player. Saw that straight drive and this as well. Just the way the ball goes to the boundary. Timing. All he needs is... Oh, shot! That's an upper decker. He got into position so quickly, didn't he? It was marginally short. He got into position, got inside the line and just helped it along. Lovely shot that for a six. Yeah, really nice balance, didn't he just pick? You take Australia home. And that is a short one and it's gone. Hit it with the turn. Yeah, we haven't seen him bowl too many loose deliveries, Kuldeep Yadav. But this definitely was one. And Moises Andrix is not the, the greatest uh, starter against spin, but this is help me delivery. Quite short, had enough time to rock back and pull it very well. Short pulled away. And a great shot there from Travis Head in the over. Pounced on the short ball and pummeled it for four. 50 for two. 14 runs uh, from the over. Just the kind of break free over that uh, Australia wanted. They were under pressure. There was the odd boundary, the odd six, but uh, when you get 14 runs from the over, once. Oh, worked away, four. Got it short, got the right height, but unfortunately it was way outside leg stump and Mose Enriquez picked it up and dispatched it. Well, he bowled such a good first over where he had pitched the ball up. Now suddenly he's bowled it. Oh, good shot. Very nice shot from Travis Head. So the momentum is swinging the way of Australia. 14 off the last over. This one already is 11 off. And again, short. Every time he bowls it short, he's been taken for runs. This is a slow pitch on a pitch which has got a little bit of pace. Travis Head uh, stepping down the pitch, making him bowl that little bit shorter. But he's given himself more time also to be heartening for the dressing room. That's nicely played, very nicely played. It's a quick outfield, let it go for a boundary. Yes, it does. 67 for two after 10 overs. It's 
not timed it well, but might just fall in between those two fielders on the boundary. So that's another four. Well, he bowled that a little bit quicker, but uh, still it was halfway down the pitch. And this is a slow pitch, so he's got ample time. Well, it's gone so quickly off the turf. It's another four in the same direction. Kuldeep Yadav looking for wickets. And in that effort, conceding some runs, making it even easier for Australia. Well, this was a half volley. All he had to do was pick his spot. And that's what Henrik has done. Look at that big forward. Well, he's gone over the top. And long on will just watch the ball go over him into the sands for a six. Well, the leg spinners have been a little inconsistent tonight. They've either been too short or too full. Well, it's gone big. Roy Sharma is a fielder. Jumps only to find the ball sailing over the rope. And now they're looking for the ball. Well, he tossed it up, but uh, at the same time, he bowled it a little bit wide, which allowed uh, Enriquez to swing his arms quite easily. Look at that. Nice swing of the arms, very good follow-through. Sharma keeping his eyes on the ball, as also the camera men behind. And look at those two ball boys. <laughs> Hit it wherever you want. Oh, straight back! Four runs and Enrique seals it with a sizzler past the bowler. And Australia win this with four and a half overs left to level the series 1-1. And they win in style. It's been their game literally from the first over. And just the experience of Moses Enrique's, but also the youth of Travis said, Bhuvanesh Rakuma, one for... And 18, winning as I said with four and a half overs left. Australia by eight wickets here in Guwahati. We'll take a break when we come back.